Hi, my name is Garrick Kaisel. I'm the manager at the Learning Technology Center at Valencia's Osceola campus. In this video, you're going to learn about the Blackboard Mashup tool and see how you can add a mashup to your course. The Mashup tool lets you search for external multimedia to add to your course without having to leave the framework of your course. Likewise, students can view the content without having to navigate outside of your course structure. You can add mashups in a variety of ways, as a standalone item, part of a test question, a topic in a discussion board, or part of an assignment. As of the moment, there are three types of mashups available to you. Flickr, a site for providing photographic images, many of which are licensed under the Creative Commons. SlideShare, a site for searching presentations, documents, and PDF documents on a variety of subjects, and YouTube, a site for viewing and sharing video. You can add mashups in a content page or virtually anywhere you have the text editor in the course content areas. And when you're adding them, you have a few display options. You can add them as a thumbnail, which shows a little 50 by 50 pixel preview of the content and launch, launches in a pop-up player, or you can add it as a text link with a pop-up player, or you can embed directly on the course content page. It really just depends on how much space you need to save for other types of course material. Okay, now I'm going to go into a Blackboard course and demonstrate how you can add a mashup to a course folder as an item. I've already navigated to my lesson folder on social networking, and I want to find a YouTube video that will introduce the subject to my students. I will find the mashups on the Build menu. You simply have to hover over, and the menu expands. And the third column labeled Mashups is where I'll find all of the mashups, including the YouTube video, which is what I'm going to use right now. Now I just need to enter a string of text to search by. I happen to know the title of my video, so I will type that now. You can search by all of the words, at least one of the words. You can exclude words if you need to. Um, I know the title, as I said, so I'm going to search exact phrase. Click Go. And I still return a number of results, which I can sort by relevance, date added, YouTube rating, or view count. I can also preview the videos in the list until I find that one that I want to use. I happen to know I want to use this one, so I'll go ahead and click Select. Here I have some options. I can change the name if I want to. I can add a description. This might be useful to add additional comments for clarification, such as a list of vocabulary words or lingo used in the video to help clarify things for students so they better understand what they're watching. On step two are those display options I mentioned earlier. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on thumbnail view. I can choose whether or not to show the YouTube URL. I can also choose whether or not to show YouTube information. I recommend leaving this one set to yes, as that way you're citing the source of the video. On step three, I can browse to add a document if I want, say for guiding questions that I want my students to consider as they're watching the video. On step four, I have some additional options. I can go ahead and hide the video if I want to. I can track the number of views, which might be useful if I want to know how often and when students are watching the mashup. And I can set specific date and time restrictions if I want to. After I've made all my settings, I click Preview to see how it will look for my students. And then when I'm ready to publish, I click Submit. And there you have your mashup as an item in a lesson folder. And that's all there is to adding a mashup. So you can see there are benefits to using mashups. They allow you to add rich media content to your courses without having to navigate outside of your course. 
They integrate well with your existing course material, which gives you greater control over your page content. And they allow you to engage the audio and visual learning styles, which gives a more diverse learning experience to your courses. Thank you for watching this video on how to add mashups to your course. If you need additional assistance, you can visit the Learning Technology Center or the Blackboard On Demand Video Library. Thank you.